Say, Dad, how about giving me a piece of the paper? There you are. Look, Dad, there it is at last. There's what? Where? There. Turn it over, Dad. Now that's what I call a good-looking car. Today, Pontiac presents a new low price six and an improved low price eight. And isn't that a dramatic presentation? Do you think anyone would or even could miss it? A striking overall view of the front end showing just enough to intrigue their interest to come down and see the whole car. A bold display of important features and price. Brief but effective copy that amplifies the story. And at the bottom, a display line carrying dealers' names and addresses. You never saw an announcement ad like that before because it is as different from the commonplace as day from night. Here is the second advertisement. Let me describe it to you because it is typical of what is to follow. And this 1935 campaign has been designed to make America think certain definite thoughts about the Pontiac car and the institution behind it. Right out in front, of course, is a big, bold, compelling picture of the car in striking black and white. Behind it is a scene from that wonderful factory of ours. And it is grayed down, so instead of competing with the car for attention, it helps to make the car stand out. That background scene is used to tell America that this car is built in a magnificent modern factory to imply that Pontiac's manufacturing advantages make it possible to produce such a car at such a price and to suggest that any manufacturer with a less modern plant simply can't offer an equal value. The next advertisement tells the story of our solid steel turret top bodies by Fisher. Note how the industrial background again suggests Pontiac's splendid manufacturing facilities. And as the weeks go on, this unusual type of advertising will put across the impression that the 1935 Pontiac is not only brilliantly beautiful, but that it also has that priceless quality of being well built. Now you have all seen advertisements that talk price, but here is one that talks quality also by suggesting it rather than screaming about it. Pontiac's advertising plan for 1935 is to release newspaper advertising on a consistent schedule, month after month, once we approach the selling season. Now, to show how far ahead our plans are laid, I'm going to give you an advanced peek at some advertisements that will run next spring. Isn't that picture big and compelling? And that little panel behind the radiator ornament contains these words. Only from a great modern plant could come a low-priced car like this. That sentence will be just as prominently displayed in all Pontiac advertising of this general nature, continually reminding the reader of Pontiac's unequal ability to produce a better car at lower prices. Next, we talk about performance. Again, the big car sweeping across the advertisement. Again, that significant industrial background. And again, the impressive statement, only from a great modern plant could come a low-priced car like this. And here is an advertisement that covers the dual safety advantages of our new all-steel bodies and our new triple-sealed hydraulic brakes. And just to remind you, every advertisement that you have seen on the screen here has had the word low price in the headline prominently displayed so even those who read as they run are being told that there is another car in the low price field. Based on our present plans, there will be a total of 3,400,000,000 reader impressions going into the homes of Pontiac prospects in 1935. Remember, that is just through newspapers alone, but it is actually staggering, isn't it? Yet it's only part of the story, because our magazine advertising campaign is going to be even more sensational than ever before. This year, Pontiac's magazine advertising is going to dominate, and I mean dominate, in the great national weeklies of America. And of all such magazines, the greatest is the Saturday Evening Post. The greatest from the standpoint of circulation, reader interest, and buying power. Its weekly circulation is nearly 3 million copies. That means over 12 million readers. And we are going to drive home the Pontiac story to those millions with 34 pages. 34 pages concentrated in the selling season. Won't that tell the world you can't do better than a Pontiac in 1935? Then that other great national weekly, Collier's, is going to pick up where the post leaves off. Collier's goes each week into an additional 2,500,000 homes and delivers its advertising message to an additional 10 million readers. Do you realize what that means? Here is the Yankee Stadium, crowded with 80,000 people. Multiply that crowd by 125, and you have 10 million. The number of readers reach each week by Collier's alone. In Collier's, there will be 21 pages of Pontiac advertising. But if you think that the Post and Collier's will take Pontiac advertising into a lot of homes, well, you ain't seen nothing yet. The American Weekly, the publication that goes into more homes than any other magazine or newspaper printed on Earth. 
Five million, five hundred thousand copies each week going into five million, five hundred thousand homes. Homes are way above the average in buying power. Logical prospects for a low-priced car like the Pontiac 6. In the American Weekly during the sewing season will appear a series of dominant advertisements in full color. Big, beautiful, arresting illustrations with headlines and copy that will tell the Pontiac story in a new and convincing way. But that isn't all. There will be 20 pages of advertising in time. That great news weekly that is probably more closely read than any other magazine of its type. Read by businessmen, by their wives, by young people and old, by almost 500,000 people far above the average in intelligence and in income. Then there will be 13 pages in the New Yorker, the smart, sophisticated weekly that goes into 130,000 of the best homes in every state in the Union. Just the people for whom a Pontiac 6 or 8 would serve as an ideal second car, and to whom we are going to appeal with a specialized type of advertising. And we haven't forgotten the fair sex either. We have selected Good Housekeeping with its two million readers to carry the bulk of our women's appeal advertising because of the tremendous reader interest it enjoys. And we're going to have special messages for them to read here. Messages emphasizing those features of our car in which women are most interested. We're also going to prepare special advertising to appear during the year in Harper's Bazaar. This smartest of all style magazines in the country includes among its readers thousands of women who have personal cars of their own. And we're going to convince them that their car should be a Pontiac. And the new 1935 Pontiac is just the kind of car to capture the fancy of youthful America. And last but not least in our magazine list for 1935 comes that amazing publication, Fortune, with its $10 subscription rate and an average income of all readers of $10,000 a year. Fortune was selected because it's read by ranking executives who were influential in fleet sales and because it also enables us to cultivate still more thoroughly the second car market. Never has there been such a concentration of Pontiac advertising in so many homes where Pontiac prospects live. The Post, three million. Colliers, two and a half million. American Weekly, five and a half million. Time, half a million. The New Yorker, 130,000. Good Housekeeping, two million. Harper's Bazaar, 120,000. Fortune, 100,000, making a grand total of 13,850,000 circulation that will deliver at least 365 million reader impressions during the year through magazines alone. And next comes something brand new for you to use on announcement day. A special six-page edition of The Chieftain, written and illustrated to appeal to the public at large. Two million copies will be supplied to dealers free. Have them inserted in your local paper on announcement day and delivered by the carriers. Just think of it, six full pages of news and pictures entirely devoted to the newest car in the industry. That should certainly help swell your crowds on announcement day. And here's the new catalog with all models in both lines pictured in full colors. And they'll be in your hands on announcement day too. You have seen how we propose to use newspapers, magazines, radio, billboards and special printed matter to help you double your sales in 1935. Now, imagine our average family just a few months hence. I wonder what's keeping your father. Yes, and it's nearly seven. Gee, I'm getting hungry. There he is now. It's a good thing we're going to have stew tonight. Why, Will? Why were you so long? I was taking care of something important. Well, what is it, Dad? Well, it's a surprise. For me? For me? For me? Yes, sir. It's for you, and you, and you. My fur coat? My shotgun? My new stair carpet? No. To all three of you. Well, what is it then? Come here. Look at that. A new Pontiac! And it's a den! Oh, it's just wonderful! And it's ours? No, it's ours, all right. Really? Bought it this evening. Turned in the old bus. Come on! Oh. And so, one more Pontiac prospect becomes a Pontiac owner. One more family that multiplied by millions 
will be at the receiving end of the most powerful and most persuasive advertising campaign in Pontiac history. Through 2,500 newspapers in every state in the Union, from the great metropolitan dailies down to the smaller weeklies, there will be delivered the staggering total of over 3 billion 400 million selling impressions. Through the leading national weeklies, women's publications, and class magazines, over 365 million selling impressions. Month after month, through 5,000 billboards, over 2 billion 900 million selling impressions delivered along the highways and byways of America. Through the great red network of the National Broadcasting Company, with its 60 powerful stations, 890 million selling impressions. Through newspapers, billboards, magazines, magazines and radio, through every great worthwhile advertising medium, day after day, week after week, month after month, throughout the year, there will be delivered no less than 7,560,000,000 selling impressions. To persuade America that there is a great new line of Pontiac 6s and 8s they simply must see before they buy any car. Think of it, 7.5 billion selling impressions through advertising alone to help you double your sales in 1900. 35.